G'day! In today's video, I've got an original Xbox that's got a blinking light whenever I hit the eject button. The game isn't getting detected here, or CDs. The drive tray itself, if hit eject, tries to move. If I touch it, it will proceed to come out. If I try and bring it back, sometimes it will go back, not all the way. Press it again, press it again, tell it to open, tell it to open. So it's catching as it's trying to slide, but also I'm not sure if this belt here has enough tension on it. It doesn't seem to have enough, enough go in the motor or enough grip on the belt, as it does look like it's stretched over time due to heat and just, yeah, general wear and tear. But my concern is, I turn the console off. <clears throat> We're now off. Turn it back on. So I'm not sure if that blinking light is it not communicating to the drive properly, or if there's something wrong with the cables, or the cable's worn and it's not talking. I'm not too sure what's going on. So hopefully, with a little bit of research, I'll be able to tell you guys what I find. So I've already given this a clean out. Yeah, to me that belt does not look healthy. <clears throat> I've given it a clean out, given it a lens clean, but it's like it won't go through the motions of fully shutting. Something doesn't seem right. Okay. I have to get this drive tray out, if it lets me. I assume there's a little latch somewhere that's stopping it. Flip it over. Move here. Um, motor. Yeah, to me that belt is very, well as you can see, we're an egg, it's going to have no tension whatsoever. I'm lucky I might be able to salvage a belt out of something else, it's very similar. I'm curious what's stopping this from coming out now. Right. I don't see any form of catches or anything in there. And all the cogs on the teeth seem to be okay. Not like they're missing any teeth there or anything. Curious with this little latch that's here. Just push in. Take that off. Okay. All the teeth on that look to be okay. The fluff build up, that's okay, that's normal. Come out, snoop. Hmm. Try and find another one of these, I reckon. So on the inside, there is a push tab here. Hello. And there's another push tab over here. 
from there they can release the drivetrain. <clears throat> now what I'm not getting going on with mine is it's not sm smoothly moving up to like there. I'm definitely not getting it engaging like that. It's mainly getting to about here and stalling. So, what else do we get here in this disassembling motion? Over here. This goes back a little bit, you can lift it out, I wonder. Must be a release tab for it as well. It slides over a little bit further, it'll pop out. Let's stop it. I'm not sure how this one comes out. I did also find another band, hopefully a very similar size. This one came out of an SH224 by Samsung, I believe that one. Uh, if we just quickly put these back on. Way. Move that a bit closer. There we go. Uh -huh. <clears throat> I don't know if that's some of the dilemma. Okay. Put that there, put that in there. And let's try my round as opposed to egg shaped belt. Very much an egg. Twist it up slightly. Right. <clears throat> Might even just reassemble and give that belt a try much I can do to really raise this up. Some I believe silicon grease may help. 
in the long term. Go here. And there we go. Over there. Doesn't, doesn't get really get that last push. I should be able to slide back in now. Which way? That way. Take the belt off for this one, I'm thinking. It's going go straight across. Once I push it on. Okay, we'll stay down. There we go. Even though we're shot, the drive tray hasn't come up, which is back to where my original problem was. I like it tries to. It went up a little bit there. Not as far as I would have liked. That way. Put some grease back in there. Engaging. Yeah, that way we're engaging. Yeah, I'll put that back in and give it a try. I may be wrong. It actually feels like it's sitting lower than it truly is. It does feel like it's meant to be higher. I'll put this back in the Xbox and give it a quick try. So now I've got the band replaced. I hit power. It was not doing that before. Right now it's trying to detect the disc. I hit eject, we're blinking, hit eject, it's going exactly as it should, weirdly, I oh know, my screen's gone to sleep, that's what's going on there, that is operating now, we try and spin up, we see the laser move, I'm feeling pretty good about that, I reckon my egg shaped band was the dilemma. Let's get this back together. Right no. Oh, bugger. That's disappointing. There we go. GTA 3 Xbox collection. Put that in. Hit close. No. No activity. Whoop. I'm hearing the disc spin. Hey. We're loading. We're loading something. Brilliant. Excellent. That's doing considerably more than what it was doing last time. Excellent. I'm happy with that. You better eject. We're out. Do we say Xbox over there for some reason? Put it back in. We're spinning up, it's reading. And we should be loading. Still thinking about it. Still feel it spinning. There we go. Now we're starting. 
Soul Light. We're reading once more. I don't know. I'm satisfied enough with that. Probably the correct band will may help to put the right tension on it. But I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to catch you guys later. Bye.